Beginnings 93. What's up, DBB 93 squad? I want to say thank you to all our new subscribers for subscribing to the channel as well as our old subscribers for returning. What's good, everybody? This will be our Capricorn November monthly. And I would love to say, make sure you guys take what resonates and let what doesn't fly by by. As well as if I say he and you are a she, make sure you flip it to your situation. And if I say she and you are a he, make sure you flip it to your situation as well. So to get straight into this reading, we're going to pick your current energy first. Okay, going into the month of November, you have the hangman and the two of cups. So speaking of the hangman, the energy of the hangman is you taking on this change of perception, okay? It's you having this committed energy of taking the time out to go through this self-changing of examination. And what I mean by that is saying you come to this point of your life where you want to examine every point, every perception of what you see, what's in front of you. So you're not kind of pulling the wool over your own eyes. And not only are you doing that, but you're looking at things from different perspectives. Maybe you've seen things this way one time. And maybe you see a different solution to different problems that you had before. So that's what the month of November is about. It's also you going through sacrifices, okay? Um, but also it's having these rewarded moments of clarity. It's searching for the truth in situations and just finding the way out of not seeing the clear goal of what you want and desire. The next card we do go into is the Two of Cups. So the Two of Cups is here because of soulful connections, harmonious relationships of all kinds. It's healing of relationships, love fulfillment, and engaged intuition. Now, for the other sections of these cards, we go into the elements. The first element we will be taking a journey into is the air element. And this is consistent of communication, mental, and your thought process. So going into the month of November, you have the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords is you taking risks. I feel like this is more of a 50-50 odds. There are going to be times when you may have to grab the sword, okay, of success. Now, not only are you going to have to grab the sword of success, okay? Just hear me out, okay? This is you also having to grab your motivation at the same time. Because it's also going to be minimum damage. So that's what I mean when I say 50-50 risk here. Okay? Um, this is you dealing with the unexpected. So it's something that you want. Take a hold of it. But at the same time, know that it's a risk taking a hold of what you want. Okay? The next card we do go into is the Judgment card. The Judgment card is forgiveness, rejuvenation, and healing. It's acknowledging and releasing of the past. It's a definite decision of releasing that energy. I feel like for some of you, you're going to be going through these alternative views for this new purpose in life that you were going through with this hangman energy okay and it it just brings you from that state to kind of like write your new passage in life so now we move on into your 
earth element, okay? The earth element, you have the tower. This is you getting rid of those old beliefs. At the same time, it's keeping some of your beliefs. But keeping the ones that matter the most and getting rid of the ones that no longer serve you or serve the benefit of what you need. This is kind of like you going bankrupt in a way, okay? This is having that self-discipline, but at the same time, this is you kind of losing the security. It's, this is you realizing that your fears are here, okay? Because with this being your earth, this is things coming to life. This is like the realistic part of things. This is the physical aspect, and this is potential real life, okay? So this is you realizing that your worst aspect is here, okay? So things that you may have dreamt about, or envisioned has come to life, okay? And now it's time for you to take care of those things, no longer to sweep them under the rug. You know how sometimes you may have that little bit of crumb left to sweep up and you may sweep it, keep sweeping it, keep sweeping it, and trying to pick it up with the dustpan. Well, you know, now you have to find a new way how to sweep it up. Because the dustpan, it, it, can't pick, it can't pick it up. The tower has come down for you now to restructure to pick it up. We go into the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is, after the tower, rapid movement. Okay, it's having a pace. This is an impending conclusion to an event set in motion. So something you've been putting off, something you've been withholding that you know that you need to pick up the mobility in after this stagnation that you've been keeping to the side, now it's time to take off in that. It could definitely have to do with these two of cups. I definitely feel that something that you've been holding back from, now it's time to take off. Now it's time to make that effort, okay? So now we're going to move into the fire side of things, which is your passion, your creativity, and definitely the action, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just move these. And I definitely still know the place, so. We're going to just slide these down a little bit. So we go into the fire, which is the fountain card. This is the card of the deck, okay? Which is a great thing. This is you having this oneness, feeling fully awake, having this enlightenment of your being, surrendering to which you are whole and perfect and knowing that, you know, within yourself, you've been found. Knowing that you are a being in life and that, you know, no matter what, with your imperfections and your perfections, that it's worth it, okay? I feel like sometimes we go through those moments where we mess up, you know? But at the same time, it's still okay to clean up that mess up. And I feel like... You may be going through cleaning up that mess up. Well, now you have a chance to do that. Okay? We do have the Eight of Swords here. Okay? So, this is feeling mentally trapped. This is having that self-doubt. Again, you have everything you need to clean up that mess up. But I'm going to get into that, okay? So, hold on. So we do have the Eight of Swords here, which is feeling that self-doubt, feeling um, immobile, feeling like, you know, you, you just not, you're not ready. You know, the task is impossible. But wait, 
You can release yourself from this. It's up to you to do this. Trust in yourself. Believe in yourself. You have every bit of freedom to do this. You just have to believe. You have to think beyond fear, okay? Now, let's go into your water sign of things, okay? Your water sign is like your emotions, the relationship part of it, and your sensitivity. You do have the hermit card, which is pretty great. This is going into quiet solitude and being aware of things, okay? This is the willingness to let go of those fixed views, those fixed mindsets for the sake of peace and having that moment to let go of resenting everything that you've done and forgiving yourself. Not only forgiving other people, but forgiving yourself to illuminate your beautifulness. Okay? Okay. But this is also you having focused attention, going through this introspection, having silence that leads to clarity. We go into your two of wands. Okay? This is... You following your bliss, trusting your instincts, and picking up with this great energy, boldly stepping forward, finding and following your fulfillment, and balancing, okay? Because whatever you're trying to go towards, it's well balanced. Whoever you're trying to go towards is well balanced. This person is very well balanced, okay? This person or either you has the world in their hand. Somehow, together, you both balance each other. So it's kind of like a, I feel like this person is like a puzzle piece to you as you are to them, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you're not subscribed, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't given this video a thumbs up, please give this video a thumbs up. If your bell notifications are not turned on, please turn your bell notifications on. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.